Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about quadratic functions solving for indicated values. Now, when it comes to quadratic functions, as you know, they are functions of the sort ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, when it comes to solving for indicated values, what that often means is you're going to be plugging in certain numbers for x and then trying to figure out what the values are. So, for example, if you wanted to do f of 3, that means you're plugging in 3 in place of this. Now, we're going to give you some uh, an example real quick. Let's just say if you have f of x was 2x squared minus 5x plus 10, and you're going to be finding out what f of 3 is, plug in 3 in place everywhere you see x. So you have 2 times 3 squared minus 5 times 3 plus 10. You're going to have 2 times, well, 3 squared is 9. As long as you follow your order of operations, you'll be okay. Okay. And then after that, just do the multiplication. 2 times 9 is 18, minus 5 times 3 is 15, plus 10. Now, 18 minus 15 is 3, plus 10 is going to give you 13. Now, the same kind of idea would be if you were to plug in negative numbers. Let's just say f of negative 2. You're going to have 2 times negative 2 squared, minus 5 times negative 2, plus 10. So the idea here is you have 2 times negative 2 squared is going to give you positive 4 and then minus 5 times 2, negative 2 plus 10. Now, again, do the multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8. Now, negative 5 times negative 2, that's going to give you positive 10. And then you have another plus 10 at the end. Now, 8 plus 10 is 18, plus 10 is going to give you 28. So the irony here is by plugging in a negative number, you actually got a higher value as a result. But the bottom line is, if you have a quadratic function and you want to find the indicated values, you just plug in whatever number you want back in the original function, and you'll have the result. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an introduction to quadratic functions solving for indicated values.